time to get organized. Let's do it. So what I mean by getting organized, I have something in this tube. When I received it, I wasn't expecting this. I wanted whiteboards. They send me this in a roll. So what I'm planning on doing today is making some frames to put my whiteboards in. We got two different saws over here that I'm gonna be using. And we're also gonna be using some pallet wood. I also have my wife standing by just in case there's an emergency. So here we go, let's, let's do it. So let's see what we're working with. Inside this cylinder is this. And inside of this bag is a whole bunch of stuff that's stuck. They make this easy, don't they? Courtney, I can't get it out. Come on, there we go. Got it, got it. All right, so we got some uh, felty feel stuff right here. So we're not gonna have any issues with the weight. That's for sure. How are you supposed to get what's in here out, sweetie? Here. Got it. I got it. Okay, it's still kind of stuck. <sighs> we got tape, foam tape. What kind of tape is this thing? Is they even, ah, oh, look at this, directions. We got directions. Sweetie, this is the weirdest setup. I don't even know what these things are. The screen is like barely in the shot, just so you know that. Okay, so we got these things here. And it looks like these right here are for, oh, you just hammer that in the wall. Sweetie, do you care if I hammer this in the wall? Yeah, you're not doing that. Okay. Got three markers. So these are gonna go back in the bag because Courtney won't let me use those. My plan is to actually cut this in two. Court, do you think that's a good idea? Cut it in two? Or should I just do one whole one? No, do it in two because it- Like this way? Yeah, why would you do it long like this? Okay, so we're gonna cut it in two this way. All right. I figured since they gave me this marker, I'm gonna end up using it now. Courtney said 17, three quarters, I think. Okay, connect the line. These are really nice markers. I wish everything you could just wipe off just like that, because that's awesome. What do I do with my knife? in my knife. How are you, knife? <laughs> so now I'm gonna take my X-Acto blade and I'm gonna take this and use it kind of like a guide. So we're gonna line that up just like this. We're just gonna cut. I'm so scared. Oh no! Okay, we made a little bit of a boo-boo, but that's okay. I'll put this down just because we're gonna have a frame on it, so no big. See, see the boo-boo? A little bit of boo boo there. Now that we're taking our measurements, we got this area right here. It's coming in right at 17 and three quarters. And then this right here, 23, 23 and three quarters. I, yeah, let's just go with that. 23 and three quarters. I have my two pieces of pallet wood here. And what I'm gonna do is, is make them all the same. And I decided to go with one inch, a little over one and a quarter is what I got the blade set to. And I'm gonna run both of these pieces of wood in through, and this is gonna make my frame for this single piece. Do a similar setup for the other piece that's still rolled up, and staple. I think we have to do some more stuff, but I'll get to that then. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Make sure you wear your safety goggles, as well as your hearing protection. You wanna make sure your blade just clears the top of the wood. See, don't put your fingers near there. We're gonna be using a 45 degree angle on the corners. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is measure your 23.35. Now I've messed this up a hundred times, I swear I have. And I end up cutting it off real too short. So make sure you really Look at it before you cut it. Otherwise, you're just wasting wood. I've done that a lot. 
One last thing. We're gonna cut our edges off with the chop saw just because we want everything to be straight and even when we actually do our 45 degrees. It's important, do it, just, just do it. And now it's chop saw time. What I'm going to be using today is this fuel right here. It's made by Milwaukee and it takes an M18 battery. I like Milwaukee because their tools are red and they also have the best warranty on the market. But I do like that they're red. That was the first time I ever did something with this part here. So I'm trying to figure out how in the world do you take this thing off? I think it just turns. Maybe. They build these things so well that it just won't come apart on you. It's probably uh, the design. Okay, the trick is just to turn this thing, and it's not in your way. Lesson load. So yeah, not to make this project any more complex, I realized that the whiteboard is gonna still be flexy in the middle, regardless of the frame. So, I found this in the garage. It's around, I don't know, an eighth of an inch? Piece of poly board. I made that term up, don't quote me on it. All right, so what I did here is make this, this jig with this two by four. We got a clamp on each side and I measured five inches to my intended line because I couldn't measure the, I couldn't draw a straight line pretty much. What I'm gonna do is just run this right along it and we're gonna be good to go. You wanna make sure you don't cut your table either. Whoa. Me, it's usually I don't have it plugged in. You also want to make sure you have a battery. You also want to make sure that you put your blade, since this is a real thin piece of wood, right where you need it. That's no overexposure of the blade. Timber. So I think we have enough here to actually put this thing together. I got my thin sheet here, and I got my 45 degree cut pieces of skid wood. This is an M12, Milwaukee. So just so you know, it's an M12. I love mine, it's great. What did I do with that whiteboard? Now when you do this step, you wanna make sure you pick the nice sides. That's what I'm doing, I'm picking the nice sides. I'm gonna use some tape to tape it down. I think that's a good idea. So I just remembered that they gave me this tape in the tube. We got tape, foam tape. And I think it's a good idea to put it behind this as a backing. Just that way it doesn't like lift up after I install the rest of this. So I'm gonna do that. for the big reveal. Ta-da! Ah, oh, that's kinda wavy there. Hmm, that's off. 
I'll figure it out. I ended up having to take all the staples out, rework it, do that thing. The first side was easy, but then when I went to the other side, things got a little bit tricky. So I got a little bit of some overhang here. You can kind of see it there. You can kind of see it, where else? Right there, see up here. So I'm just gonna sand that down. But other than that, it's pretty sturdy. It just took me around five, six hours to do this one, so. Hopefully the other one goes a lot smoother and I'm out of here before nightfall. I don't know what this schmutz is. It's weird. So I got it figured out. What I did was I took two clamps, put one on this corner, one on this corner. And then I put two clamps over here and then I put a clamp in the middle to hold it together. You got a drill point here, 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 and here. Did these two first, clamped it, then I did these two. Uh, then you got, I guess I didn't drill this one. Okay, I'll drill that one real quick. I am finally done, kinda, not really. I still have to shave off the edges. I'm gonna probably end up just hammering these in just a little bit. But for the most part, I have finished. When you never give up, you accomplish things. Even though they might take you a little bit longer than what you think they're gonna. But it's done. Only negative is that I'm not gonna be able to get organized today. I'm a little behind now. But this is done, it's done.